counting in multiples of 25. In this nugget, the learning objective is to count in multiples of 25. We'll learn to recognise multiples of 25 and count forwards and backwards in steps of 25. So here we have 25 cubes and we're going to put them together to create a block of 25. And let's put that 25 on a number line. If we add another block of 25, 25 add 25, that's 50. Now let's add another block. 50 add 25 is 75. Now we add another block. 75 add 25 is 100. Now we have 100 cubes altogether. Let's keep counting. So the first four multiples of 25 are 25, 50, 75 and 100. Add another 25 and we get 125. Add another 25, 150, 175 and 200. Your turn now. Have a look at all of these multiples of 25. See if you notice a pattern and then see if you can answer the question, would 285 be a multiple of 25? Pause the video and have a think. Well done if you noticed that all of the multiples of 25 end in either 25, 50, 75, or zero, 00. So with this pattern in mind, we know that 285 can't be a multiple of 25 because it ends in 8, 5. Multiples of 25 can only end in 2, 5, 5, 0, 7, 5, or 0, 0. Your turn again now. See if you can work out what the next four multiples of 25 are. You just need to add 25 each time. And remember that the multiples of 25 end in 2, 5, 5, 0, 7, 5 or 0, 0. Pause the video and have a go. Well done if you got 225. 250, 275 and 300. Now see if you can count backwards in multiples of 25 to fill in the blanks. Remember just subtract 25 each time. Pause the video and have a go. Well done if you got 1650 1,625, 1,600 and 1,575. Now have a look at these multiples of 25. Put these numbers in order to form a sequence and then work out which multiple of 25 is missing. Pause the video and have a go. Well done if you worked out that 575 was the missing multiple. So remember, when counting in multiples of 25, all multiples end in either 25, 50, 75 or 00. zero. To count up in multiples of 25, just add 25 each time. And to count down in multiples of 25, just subtract 25 each time.